Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and we've got a lot to do for what seems like a very simple task. So we're gonna start off by going to your web browser. In this case, my virtual machine only has Edge on it, so I apologize in advance. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is download the software that lets us read and write Linux file systems, which is, of course, what the end result needs to be. This, of course, uh, is a trial version, but it works. It'll continue to work even after its time is over. It just starts to write slower. Next, we're gonna download my batch file for creating the folders. Now, batch files are inherently dangerous. This is why Edge here does not want you to keep it, but you're gonna keep it anyway. We're gonna open it and show you what's inside, which you should always do with batch files, regardless of where they come from to make sure that they're okay and safe. Finally, the last tool that we need here is an empty SD card image. Now you're probably saying, why do we have to have an empty SD card image? Well, unfortunately, um, there's something weird about OS 3.5. You used to be able to do this just fine on OS 3.4. Now we have to do things the hard way. We're also gonna download Etcher. That's a portable version of Etcher that's gonna help us write that micro SD card image to our actual micro SD card. All right, so we're gonna have to wait for a while for this to download. In the meantime, we can go ahead and run Batilana Etcher. It's a portable version, so it has to extract itself first. After the first run, it'll run a lot faster. There you go, it is up and running. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install Linux file system for Windows. Again, this is a trial version and it will eventually time out, but it won't stop you from using it. You'll be done with it today when you're done with this tutorial. Listen, it's the best 20 bucks you could possibly spend if you're a Steam Deck owner that also has a Windows PC. Okay, so we're all, uh, we're all file systemed up here. Now what we need to do is wait for that card to download, and then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can speed this along for you. Let's take a look in the meantime, we'll take a look at this batch file that we downloaded. I wrote this um, and you can see right here, it makes a couple of folders. It changes into the folder with emulation ROMs and it makes a boatload of folders in there. These are all these systems that MUDEC or emulation station support. And those are where you will be putting your ROMs later. And there's also a BIOS folder that will also be for your BIOS files, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, speed this along here. We don't wanna wait for this thing to download. We're gonna extract the empty SD card into a .img file. This is an image file that Etcher will be able to write to our card. So we'll let that extract. In the meantime, dig up your micro SD card that you wanna use. This will destroy the entire card, destroy the data, not the card. So uh, make sure there's nothing on it that you want. It's gonna create a Linux file system based card that will be perfectly compatible with your deck when you insert it. Okay, so now we have our empty SD card image. Now this is a four gigabyte image. So you have to at least have a four gigabyte card to do this with. Obviously you've got something bigger, but uh, just so you know that this is an image made from a four gigabyte empty formatted SD card from the Steam Deck. Okay, I inserted my USB drive, it is drive F. And we are ready to use Batilana Etcher to do the deed. So let's go ahead and run that. Since we already ran it once, it should come up pretty quick. Again, this is a virtual machine, so it's a little bit slower. All right, perfect. So now all we have to do is drag that image file into Etcher, select your target. Now, hopefully this will be blatantly obvious what it is. You could inadvertently wipe a system drive or something with this thing. So make sure you choose the right drive. And then we hit flash. And of course, uh, once again, we wait. Now you'll probably get some um, uh, access permission requests. That's fine, it's a safe tool. Now we're not gonna sit here and wait forever for this thing to flash. We're gonna wait uh, until it starts to verify and we're gonna stop. Now you can verify if you want, uh, do the validation. Um, I, it's probably not necessary, but if you're the uh, careful type, go ahead and do it. All right, we're done with that. Now we have an actual an actual SD card that's ready to go. Okay, so now you run Linux file systems. It's, oh, there's no volumes. Well, this can happen. What you wanna do is restart the service, which is why the link to do so is right there on the front screen. So let's go ahead and bring up the list. This is the old F drive before we mounted it, so that's, that's not really there, it's just a phantom, but there is no Linux drive. So go ahead and restart the service. Takes just a moment. 
and magic, ah, lo, a drive appears. Okay, now, you don't wanna have it auto-mounted, I'm gonna tell you why. So we'll unmount it, and then shut off mounting automatically. You can leave read-write mode on. We'll hit mount, go to read-write, set the default ownership. If you do not set this to 1,000 user and 1,000 group with 777 permissions, terrible things could happen. So, every time you mount it, make sure that you mount it the same way. Okay, now you open it up and you see there's a Steam Apps folder, right? This is this is an actual Steam Deck compatible card under the Linux EXT4 file system. So let's go ahead and copy my batch file over that we've already looked at, we know is safe. We're gonna copy that over to, in this case, the G drive, your drive will vary probably. Go ahead and say, select yes, and double click that guy. And boom, 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 boom. All right, now you have an emulation folder, which is exactly what uh, EmuDeck is going to want. You've got a BIOS and ROMs folder, and inside the ROMs folder, you have all the systems that are compatible. That's where you're gonna put your ROMs, put all your BIOS files on the root of the BIOS. Unmount, unmount, unmount. So write down on a yellow sticky somewhere. Always unmount, always unmount, always unmount because if you don't, it won't write the cache back to the drive and everything you write to it will be gone and you'll be pulling your hair out trying to figure out why. All right, let's go ahead. Let's assume that you got your uh, Steam Deck in the mail. Now you're ready to go in and put this card in. Go to storage, select add a drive. It will not pop up automatically. It says, hey, look, you've got a new micro SD card, 3.5 gigabytes. What are you gonna put on there? But at least it's there, right? So it mounted, it recognized it, and it adopted it for Steam downloads. If we go look at our removable drive, hey, there's the emulation folder we just created in the BIOS and the ROMs. All that good stuff is there and ready to go. Perfect. So now um, what we're gonna do is, you'd probably like to have all that space back, right? So let's go into KDE Partition Manager. You do have to have a pseudo password for that. Now you can see here, it's only using four gigabytes of this 128 gigabyte card. Well, that's just not going to do, right? We need to resize this partition, this little tiny partition that we wrote. We need to resize that to fill the rest of the card. Now, this is really hard to get. I'm using a mouse, folks. I can't imagine what you people using the trackpad are gonna do. But the idea is you gotta grab the edge of this really small and then drag it over and fill it up. You could type it in. Man, I, I tried that and I cut it out. Go ahead and hit apply. And in just a moment, look at this, look at this, all done. Now, you the entire space, hey, there you go, all the space of your USB drive is ready. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armand Rowe, we'll see you next time.